Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. I'm Pamela Pick. I'm Bill Pick. <laughs> um, that's my husband that you're hearing there that's in the right. background. I'm just going to try to load up on the I'm, laptop. On the color commentary. Uh, you think you're the um, Ed McMahon, right? Is I'm that... the Ed McMahon of Piccadilly Stampin'. <laughs> that's right. Okay, let's see. Hi, Jackie. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, for some reason, it's not loading, Bill. What are you going to do? Oh, there we go. It's just slow. Must be our internet. We do have a big storm coming, you know. We do. Uh, I don't know. The last few times I thought it was going to be a big storm, and then what happened? Um, that's my oh. husband. Goes in the background. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't have my sound off on that. So it she yells at me when she does. When okay, I, do. I see. Cindy! Woo! Hi, Jackie. Hi, Janet. Hi, Jean. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Mary Jo. Hi, France. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Nick. There's Jackie again. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Hi, Sherry. Angie. Nice to see you. Hi, Karen. Uh, Kathleen. Wow. Okay, so we're getting kind of full here. Karen and Gracie are there. That's right. That means Gracie's there. Oh, Mary Jo says they're supposed to get four to eight. Well, they're saying... what was Six it? to nine. Udos. Yeah, I don't know. It hasn't happened this year as much as they say. So, One you know to what? Thousand. I need to knock on wood. Give me your head, Bill. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> um, because... It hasn't happened, and now that I say that, it probably will be disastrous amounts. I mean, nothing like, I think, what some of California is going yeah, no through. Kidding. They got feet of snow, so I'll, inches I'll handle. Okay, so do we want to get started? Well, yeah, but aren't you going to uh, talk about my lip? <laughs> oh, that's right. So, um, Bill may be talking a little bit funny. He ended up having to... Uh, have some dental work today and they numbed him up and they accidentally numbed his lip and so he may uh slobber a little i've got him away from the paper products so he doesn't slobber a little but he was talking a little bit funny today so i won't <laughs> he's got his lip hanging out okay um keep the snow my furnace Kick the bed tonight. <laughs> I'm sending it right to you, Jackie. All right. So there's, well, there's Miss Jean Shute from North Dakota. So she's going to get hit with some snow, isn't she? Uh, she may have already gotten it. I don't know. All right. Should we get going with the drawing? Sure. Okay. So um, each week we do a drawing that, for the cards that we did the previous week. So these were the cards. Let me just show you. So soft and pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? They, they were are. so easy to do. I want one. Do you? Did you get? Did you share my video? I did. Yeah, but you don't qualify. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but you said how many? Sixty people shared. Yeah, it was like sixty or sixty-one, which has been my highest number to date. So, and that's with my YouTube um, following too. So I really yeah. appreciate so that. If you like us on Facebook. Follow us on YouTube. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah, be sure to like and follow us. I can move that now. Um, but so your name goes into the drawing from the previous week, and then Bill likes to draw. And we, I, I make a sample for the beginning of the week, and then I make one on camera. So I usually have two to give away. So can you draw two names for me? One and two. Okay. Gladys Hampton. Glennis! Yay! Thank you so much for sharing my video. I appreciate that. I will get that in the mail. Monkey! Oh, <laughs> Lori Deller Gerdell. Don't call her monkey on camera. Oh. <laughs> so I will be sending you one. So thank you so much for sharing my video. I'm going to set those over here for now. I will do that again at the end of tonight. So tonight, guess what, Bill? The stamp set and bundle that I'm going to be using, you can't find in this new catalog. 
Is it, that one of those online exclusives? It sure is an online exclusive. That's right. Right. But I will be using the host paper that's in the back. This is such pretty paper. And I kind of picked a fun little um, uh, card tonight. It's an accordion card, but so it's very easy to make. And I will show you. But it, it had to do with, I saw our at the pond stamp set which gave me an idea using this background and I thought I can do this I can do this even though I I don't have that stamp set at the moment but um so I want to use this paper back here so let's just start with that okay so the paper that I'm using is the flowers and more again it's the host paper and it is all of these beautiful bright host paper they have to host the party yeah, they can host a party, and if they reach a qualified order of $150, which is not that much with Stampin' Up! I, I think that's pretty good, then um, they... It could be a party of one. <laughs> he says it could be a party of one. Do you know anyone who might spend $150 at one time? Oh, probably a few. <laughs> yeah, you do. So I wanted to use this paper because it is that bright granny apple green and then it has the shaded that. spruce and then it has the balmy blue and the back side has balmy blue so we're going to start there and let's cut this down i don't know what this is cut at i need this to be all 12 inches by five and a quarter so let's just put this on our trimmer so i should have measured that a couple times Nope, I did it. Okay. So here we have that. So you want all 12 inches by five and a quarter. So we're going to start with cutting that down. Then let's go, let me move this. Let me show you the stamp set. So this is why I was excited because this is the online exclusive Rhino Ready. Bill's already named the rhinoceros in here. What's his name? Ronnie. Ronnie Rhino. But since I've decided that the rhinoceros that I'm going to use is this one right here, and it's a girl, I'm going to call her Ronnie Rhino, but it's for Veronica, Bill. Veronica. So if it's a boy or a girl, Ronnie will work. It does come with a matching die set. I haven't even used the dies yet. Oh, let me open this. You haven't? Nope. This card didn't call for it. Although I did do something with her, and I did the masking technique, which was kind of fun. And I can show you that before we get going. Okay, so see, it's got the, the African tree. You can only find this online. It's got some of these big leaves. It's got something to cut out um, some of the high grass, a little bit birthday hat and a birthday blower. The little bird here, it'll cut out the little bird on here. So when you say online, can they link that through your store? They can. All they have to do is just go to my online store and they'll be able to see all of the online exclusives. Now some things have sold out, some things that they're going to get back, so don't panic. Um, but this I believe is there. I didn't check actually. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to I'm going to use the saying, hope your birthday is wild because I think that's cute and we're going to use this little bird. Okay, so actually let's start there. Let me pull in some pieces, and I'm going to set this aside for a minute. And I am going to use the layering circles. And so we have a scalloped one and a circle, and then they layer really perfect together. So let me just show you. Here they would be. And this is the colors. I've got balmy blue for this one, and this is basic white. I will let you know that this is the second largest in the set of the layering circles. So let's just start here. Let's start some stamping. Izzy is snoring up a storm. Yeah, she we said stamping, snoring. So if you're new to us, um, say hello, tell us where you're from, because we always like to see where people are at, especially if you're out of country. It, it just tickles Bill to pieces when he gets someone from Australia or New Zealand or um, mm -hmm. Ireland. Are you still tickled about Ireland? Yeah, I didn't see her on there yet. Oh, I said hi to her. I saw her. She's oh, on there here. she is. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> she was teasing you earlier, saying that she wasn't going to. 
stay okay. So here's my little, I call her Veronica, the rhino, but Bill says it's Ronnie. So let's just start there because I'm going to do some blend stuff. And don't worry if you're not good with blends. I am not good with blends. And I love to use she blends. Was. I'm not. I don't, I'm not like Jackie okay. who can do all the special coloring. But I'm going to tell you my, my cheat stuff tonight and hopefully you'll learn stuff. Even Jackie might learn something. Who knows? So I'm going to start with the ivory blend. And, um, just because I needed something for the tusk. And I had to actually look up a horn. a horn. Sorry. Thank you. That was quite the correction. It's a, a horn. horn. And I decided since I had this, I was just going to do her toenails. I could have painted them, honestly. But I didn't. So, I don't think he would have liked it's not a he, it's I'm telling she, you. Okay. It's a she. Her name is Veronica. I named her. So I am a critter lover, and my goal this year is to completely turn Jackie Johnson into a critter lover because I think she's got a little bit of the bug. Okay, then I decided to do the light smoky slate blends. Now, I don't know how to blend very good, so I'm going to tell you some of my secrets as I'm coloring here. I start off... And I just start coloring in. And I like to do kind of around the outside a little bit heavier than maybe the inside when I'm coloring. So you can do one blend and still get blends. And let me show you what I mean here. So I just kind of do this lining here. And then I go back in and I kind of do these circles so that it's not so like a line because I'm gonna go back over this. Oops, I kinda hit his eye by accident. I didn't mean to. Get nervous on camera. It's like, you know, I've never been on here before, <laughs> right? Oh, what am I going on? Shows. In August this year, it'll be six years. I know. Wow. Why'd you laugh at that, Bill? That you get nervous? I do still get nervous. Well, that's good. I mean, you didn't think I did? I hate it when I screw up on camera, but I've gotten to the point where I think people just expect it now. <laughs> they just know it's going to happen. Okay, so I've just literally colored this in. Now, when I'm working this, I try not to go, you definitely want to protect your surface because they do bleed through and depending on how heavy handed you are. So as you can see, he's just kind of colored in, but this is an alcohol based marker. So it dries quickly. I'm going to go back over and let's just say the light's kind of hitting this side. I'm going to go back over with the same color and the areas that I want darker are going to be a little darker. Now, right now it's wet, so it's obviously going to look a little darker, but obviously her little tummy here and the underside, because her, her big, what do you call that? It's not a trunk on her. It's where her head kind of hangs over. So her, the bottom is going to be heavier or darker. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to do this side since I have the other side. And now I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just kind of going to blend it back in. And I don't care how, and it, it's going to change as it dries. So, and here she's got just a little shading. So we're going to go in here and do that. And I might as well just kind of come up and finish that head around. Okay, so we're going to let this dry a little bit. And while we're letting this dry a little bit, I'm going to show you one that I made. And I thought it was going to be for this project, and I was going to do a little masking. But um, I ended up so that I could get the grass over her, but it would be behind her so that I wouldn't cut off her little legs. And you can see, that is just the layering of the one color. So if you're not sure how to do some of that you can just keep going back over and over and each one turns out a little different which is nice be sure to keep the end of the um the there's two ends on this there's a bullet end 
and there's a brush end and it doesn't matter which end but be sure to keep the end kind of away from the um the black line i stamped it in the tuxedo black memento ink memento is what works with the alcohol markers so now she's just floating in a circle so i want to come in and i'm just gonna do soft little sketchy lines with just the little tip can you see that just the little tip of the blend kind of filling in here and just do soft little sketchy lines now this is just to kind of ground her because she's not just floating in air right so she's just kind of grounded on here so you can see that okay I do want her to stand out so I'm going to take the balmy blue this is the light again if you've noticed I've been using the lights except for the ivory and I'm going to take that brush tip. Now, this is the time that if you have a shaky hand, this is good. This will help you in this. So what I want to do is I want to do a really shaky line right around the edge here. And I'm going to take my hand. I think I work better down. Now, remember, this color is going to be a little bit... And I'm doing... It's not a straight line. I am literally just moving my hand just a little bit right down here I don't know if you can see how zigzagged that is but it's okay I will hold it up and I'm gonna go up around this tail too because we're gonna highlight her I want her to kind of stick out so I'm gonna use this as either I don't know a background shadow or maybe this is the sky but I'm not gonna color it all the way in all the way through this picture I'm just gonna go around her horn since I learned the technical term and around her in this little squiggly line I'm not going to concentrate and stay long on the black line because that's where you get the bleeding okay now because I'm on camera I kind of rushed to this honestly but can you see how she gets kind of a highlight of like light hitting her on this side what and then she pops up she pops up doesn't she she just kind of shows bing like so so i love that little tip and i love that i don't have to be an artist to do it i can just literally stamp it color it and i look like i'm pretty darn artsy fartsy who's gonna tell me different i want to know who's gonna tell me different <laughs> i am artsy fartsy you are artsy fartsy okay they love the tip it's a great tip, and it's really good, especially for people who are starting off. Um, I'm actually going to be taking some classes here soon because I do want to build my skills, and I want to be able to teach you guys because that's the thing I like about it. What I love about this is being able to show you what I learned because I'm not anybody. I'm Joe Stamper. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. So we're going to put that aside. Then let's pull in this piece of beautiful DSP that I it have is. here. I like it. And I know from you guys that you have told me that you like it when I do visual things. So I'm going to make this kind of visual for you. I have a template. So here's how the card opens up. So it is five and a quarter by 12 inches. So if you are in a different color country and you use centimeters, I don't know what to tell you. I don't use them. I guess I could look it up each time, but um, we're going to score it at two, five, and eight. So I just took a DSP that was light enough to write on so that you guys could see this. Okay, now I'm going to put it right here so I don't screw up. So I've got it at the gonna have to use the little arm on the trimmer I love this trimmer so much I have been begging and if you guys want to I would love it if you guys did the same thing right to Stampin Up and tell them that we need one that's like um, six inch by six inch just so that I could put it on the camera for just this thing okay so I need to start off by scoring it two inches so I'm gonna put it here on the trimmer 
and put this at the two inch mark. Make sure I got it on there straight. We're gonna do a little score, okay? And then using the right color. What do you mean? On the side. Oh yeah. There's he meant that there's two colors. There's a light one that scores and a dark one that trims. That's what he meant. I thought, what? What do you mean? Am I using the wrong stuff? Okay. So and then we're gonna score it at five. Don't push too hard, too, because the score can cut. And I'm scared I just did that. No, I did not. Okay. And then on the 8. So, 2, 5, and 8. So easy. So even a new stamper who's got their basic supplies in there with a piece of DSP can do this fun fold. It is that easy. Okay. You will need a color, a base color. So my base of my card, instead of being a folded card, is um, four and a quarter by five and a half. Then we're going to take this and we're going to fold this this way, just like the accordion, you know, just like an accordion fold. And then we'll fold this one this way, like so, and this one this way. Okay, so easy. We all did like paper fans when we were kids in school, right? So this is basically the same thing. And now all I'm gonna do is glue it to the base. And so, because I cut it down that um, half quarter inch, sorry, quarter inch, that's what we're gonna have is a nice little border around the back, okay? So, very easy. What color is that back? This is shaded spruce. Thank okay. you for asking. Um, and I'm going to take the balmy blue side and I am going to glue this whole thing down. I use the liquid glue. You can use um, stamp and seal if you want, but I don't mm. like the tape runners because I have a hard time getting stuff I centered. I like glue so you can move it around if you have to. Well, I have to all the time. Okay. Yeah, you do like it. Bill does stamp from time to time. If you're new tuning in to us, he does stamp with me from time to time. Not very often. Sometimes I ask for help. Do I get it at Christmas? <laughs> He's acting all silent now, pointing at his lip. He can't talk all of a sudden. <laughs> Okay, so now we have our base. This is going to give some stability to this because it is just DSP, which are we've got a high quality DSP, but because this isn't like a specialty one that's the thinner kind, but um, still you need to have something so it's not so flimsy, right? So and it adds that nice little bordered edge. I love that. Now I'm going to pull back. I've got a piece of Knight of Navy, and I'm going to cut just a quarter inch off. Is it hot in here to you, Bill? Mm, it's a little bit warmer. I um, think the wind's out of a different direction. It's not blowing up in front of the house. I'm having another uh, hot flash. <laughs> oh my gosh, these hot flashes, they're horrible. Okay, so this is just a quarter inch. That's tiny. All right. Oh, I should have measured. I need that at five and a quarter. Do I have it at five and a quarter? I better measure that. I should have cut it first and then done it. I just pulled out a scrap and said, yeah, that'll work. Let's get it down here. There we go. Okay. Love this thing. Look at how tiny that is that that cuts. Love it. It's stuck to me. There we go. All right. Any questions or anything so far? No, not yet. I haven't seen any. Pretty simple. Okay. They love the DSP. I do too. I love that. And it's going to go so cute with my little rhino. So why did I cut just a really stinking... That is... Okay. I'm sorry. I have to take the sweater off. The sweater is coming off. Yep. There we go. Too hot. Oh, it is hot. It is. Wow. I know. I was starting to really sweat there. I was cold, then I was hot. Okay. So why did I cut this off? This piece is 
I want to give some stability to this because I'm going to hook our little, see, we're going to go like this. And I want to give some stability to it. So I started off and then I decided I really liked it as a design element. So here's how I like to do this. First of all, always use your silicone craft sheet because if you get a goober off of there, you don't have it all over your project. This dries, you just roll it right off. It's perfect. Love it. For $6.50, this is one of my favorite investments, and I have like three. Two of them I can't find at the moment. That's why I keep collecting more. <laughs> they're in a drawer someplace over here. Oh, they're lost in the abyss. Lost in the so the way I think is the easiest is just to do a little bead right at the edge of your liquid glue. Now, if you have um, a quarter-inch tape, which I think are Terran tape, but I didn't think I needed that much. So when I first did this, this was the reason why. I was trying to create some stability without killing the design. I ended up changing it at the end, and I'm going to show you what I did. But let's get that on. Now, see, all of that glue that squished out this way because I was pushing this way is now on here. Instead and so. Instead of my paper, yep. So I want to make sure that I have that in nice and, okay, there we go. So that gives this a little bit of integrity. All right, let's set this aside and let that dry a minute. And we're going to go on to the next thing. I have a two and three quarter by five piece of basic white. We need to do a little more stamping. We need a sentiment on this, so I'm going to bring back in my black, Tuxedo Black Memento ink, and I'm going to ink this up, and I'm going to see if I got that inky. I'm missing that D in the middle. Ink, ink. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to line this up on my grid paper, and I will, hopefully I got that straight. Not too bad, not too shabby. And then I'm going to take the little bitty birdie here and I'm going to ink that up because it says, hope your birthday is wild. So we're going to have a little bit more nature right beside there, just looking at the sentiment. Okay, then I'm going to bring back my uh, balmy blue that we used before. And I'm going to go in. Now you want to make sure that your ink is dry before you start in with alcohol. And I'm just going to give a little blue. It's going to match the outside of the card. And I have no idea where um, this rhinoceros lives, but it's going to live where there's a bluebird. All right. So pulling this in. This is going to be the inside of our card, and I wanted it to cover, I call these my love notes when it's not the full four by five and a half size. As there's not as much writing room on it, but I didn't want it to show out here. I wanted that to be the same. So we're going to do a little bit of the glue on the back of this. Isn't this coming out cute? Wait till you see the end. We're getting close. Okay, so you keep an eyeball for questions. I am. Is everyone being quiet tonight? They're stunned. They're stunned? Mm -hmm. Or are they snoring? No, they're, they're looking and watching. So my idea was to put her, my Veronica Rhino, <laughs> Ronnie Rhino, right here. Now, if I do this, and I put this on here, I want to glue, you can see, kind of like from here down, because I don't want to get onto this one. And so, um, well, I'll start there, and then I'll make my other statement. So I'm just going to glue her fairly well right on this half, which is cute. I do like critters, I will say. I am such an animal lover. 
Okay. All right. And then I decided, which this gives that stability. But when I opened it up, I felt like there was too much wild. I don't know about you, but I felt like there was too much wild. So I decided that I would just, now this comes out here, so I don't want to go past there, but I decided that I was just going to go ahead. It's accordion. They get its accordion. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this flap down, and I did. That is something that you can decide if you want to leave it that longer or if you want to glue it down. So I don't have my glue coming past here, but I just glued her down. Now she's really stable, and I decided that I did like that little design element on there. But when she opens, hold on, get her down. But when she opens, then she opens up this far, and I get to see her and the design instead of her being flipped over. So I decided to go that way. Okay, now I had a little glue on my finger, and I still do, so I need to use my little glue thing. Remember what I said about these for those of you who live in the United States, Dollar Tree, one buck. And all you have to do is you cut the little end so that you can get... It takes up adhesive. I love that. I may have to work on that in a minute. Okay, so here's my design. I decided we needed to have a little bit of bling. And I thought, this is why I think she's a girl. Because I decided to put these fun flowers. These are from the a butterfly set. I don't remember that came out in the annual catalog. I don't remember the name of it. But it had blue because this little strip was Night of Navy that I used here. It had blue and it had the green, and I thought, that is perfect. So using my Take Your Pick tool, I am going to, see, I'll take a little bitty one here and set it down there, and I'll take a big one. Oops, bless you. And then I'm going to take one of these little green ones and set it there. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. So if you have children or grandchildren that you make cards for, I'm going to set that aside for a moment. This would be cute for that. Or if you just want to make me cards with little critters on it, I think it's adorable. It's so cute. Look how cute it is. Isn't it adorable? It's stinking cute. I just love it. So, they need to share it if they want it. Yes, this will be the card that I'm making. And here's the original. This will be the card that I'm making um, for, um, or that will be the giveaway for next week's drawing. So, if you want to get into that drawing, all you have to do is share this video to your Facebook wall. And that helps get my name out there. And I'm just word of mouth. Um, so, I would appreciate that. Okay, let's go on to the next thing. Again, this paper that I got is from our new mini catalog, and um, it is in the back, so you can only get it on host rewards. And please keep in mind that our catalog goes through April. As of May 1st, it's gone. So if this is something that you want to um, have in your collection, it has way cuter papers I mean, there's just so many cute papers in this. You can get that on my online store. I That's mean, right, because the new catalog's coming. Yes. The new catalog's coming. Yeah, the new catalog is coming. The new annual catalog is coming in May. So be sure to like and follow us. This is a brand new host. Brand code. new. Yep. Brand new. And when you are shopping on my online store, if you place an order that is... Uh, 150 and under, you, um, if you would use that, I would appreciate it. But anything over that, you qualify for host rewards. Plus, you would qualify for this um, paper pack that I was telling you about. And it's a huge paper pack. Um, join my team. I have a wonderful team, and I would love to have you join if you want to stock your stamp room and get a discount every time you shop. Join if um, you don't have to run a business. Uh, you know, I am, I consider myself a hobbyist in a way. I just do enough to pay for my supplies, our phone bill, and then, um, 
it's fun. It's a way for me to make friends. So you don't have to sell. You don't have to recruit. There's no quota with Stampin' Up. As long as um, you meet the minimums and they're, it, it comes out to with the discount, like less than $25 a week. Something. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. I do have a newsletter. Um, uh, I kind of post when there's things that I'm offering or things that Stampin' Up! are offering. So if that's something you're into, um, knowing more, if you have questions, um, I put a lot of information in there when I need to about when there's sales going on. Let's see, what else is there? Oh, and if you didn't know, I have a Piccadilly Perks program. My rewards program rewards you for purchasing and being a loyal customer for me. So how the rewards plan work is every time you spend $35 in my online store using my host code, that is a requirement, you end up getting rewards. It's 10 letters in the word Piccadilly. And I will send you where you're at in your rewards. Once you get all 10, you get to collect a $25 stamp, stamping spree on me. But wait, I pay the shipping and handling and the tax on oh, that. Wow. And ship that to you. So it's kind of a buy 10, get one free, like a punch card. And I do send a thank you card and I send you a little slip of paper. In fact, maybe I have one here so you can see if you're new to me. And so I check off the word, the letters to Piccadilly and I tell you how many you have left before lear, uh, earning your perks reward. Now the neat thing about it is recently I have been able to save, let you save that up to two times to where you get $50. So then you can get like um, a bundle set or something for that shopping spree. So that is something you're interested in and anybody who spends over $35 automatically gets that from me. I just enroll you, send you a um, thank you and you're in for it. So anything else I need to talk about? Okay. Well, I will let you know the last thing is that I am going to be having another Facebook Live this Friday, and I'm going to be, I haven't decided. I've got two cards that I'm fussing with, which I like better. Both of them will have an online exclusive, but they will also have things that you can find in the catalog. If you need a catalog from me, I'd be more than happy to send you one. I just need your mailing address and know that you are not working with any other demonstrator. So... I will see you on Friday, 4 p.m. Central Time, and I'll put out a notice beforehand. So take care, everyone. Have a great evening. Thank you for allowing me to show you what I love to do. Take care. Bye. Bye.